Hey everybody, it's Dr. Nelson. Uh, this is a video about subtracting polynomials. Okay, so for the first page, I want you to follow along with me, and then the second page, there's going to be some problems for you to try, and then at the end, you can see how you did. So the key rule about subtracting polynomials is that in order to subtract polynomials, the terms have to be like terms. So for example, here we have 12n minus 6n. All right, and because these are like terms, well, 12n take away 6n will just give you 6n. All right. Now, for this one, we have 6x plus 7 minus 4n minus 3. And the only terms that we can combine or, or subtract is 7 and then negative 3. So 7 minus 3 gives us a 4. And then the 6x and the, and the negative 4n, well, they're not like terms. So we're going to leave them as is. So it'll be 6x minus 4n and then plus 4. All right, now this may look a little bit different. Here we have a problem where it's set up uh, vertically. So it says subtract the lower polynomial from the upper one. So we're gonna subtract the 4x squared plus 2y plus three from the 6x squared plus 3y plus eight. So I'm gonna put a little subtraction sign here. So 6x squared minus 4x squared, that'll give us a 2x squared. 3y minus 2y, gives us a positive y, and then eight minus three gives us a five. Now this one, gotta be careful because we have some negatives in here. So seven y squared minus a negative six y squared. Well, you should know that when you subtract a negative, it's the same as adding. So this is gonna be a 13 y squared. And now eight y minus a two y is a six y. And then a four minus a negative six. Again, when you subtract a negative, it's the same as adding. So four plus six gives us a 10. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems. So the first problem, we have 40p minus 30p and minus 20p. All right, so because they're all like terms, we can just subtract. So 40 take away 30 gives us a, a 10p, and then 10p minus a 20p will give us a negative 10p, all right? Now down here, we have 38x squared and I'm going to subtract a 14x squared from the 38x squared. So that will give us a 24x squared. Now we have a 16y squared. And a we're subtracting a negative 10y squared, which is the same as adding 10y squared. So that's going to be plus 26y squared. For this one down here, we have 6x minus 8 minus in parentheses 2x minus 4. So we're subtracting everything inside the parentheses. So we're subtracting the, the 2x and we're also subtracting the negative 4. So that's going to be 6x minus 8 minus 2x and then we subtract the negative it's like adding. So we're going to add 4. So 6x minus 2x gives us a 4x and negative 8 plus positive 4 is minus 4. And there it is. All right, the last one, we're subtracting the lower polynomial from the upper one. So again, I'm going to put a little subtraction sign here. So 6r squared minus 3r squared is 3r squared. 7r minus 6r is going to be 1r. And then 14 minus negative 3, again, it's like adding 3. So that's going to be plus 17. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?